for a home defense solution. That's just five thousand dollars worth of. Like I said, yeah. Peace of mind is priceless. Yeah, hon. One of the elements of Fargo is that ultimately Fargo is a story of America from year to year. The fifth season of Fargo extends the universe that we've seen. We're seeing a different side of the organized crime world. I want you to do a little dance. Fargo 5 is a true crime story where simple, good-hearted people. Oh, look at you. From Mr. Pancakes. Come face to face with something monstrous. <laughs> is the story of a housewife who is kidnapped by her husband, except the husband is not the man she's married to now. You want to take a tumble? It's the man that she ran away from. You got any of that huckleberry pie? Look at Dick Cheese. I know you <laughs> Quiet. And he finds out where she is, and he comes looking for her. But housewife is not just a housewife. She is a tiger. Hun. Yeah? Why is there a sledgehammer over the front door? Well, we talked about an alarm system. Dorothy and her innate ability to be this Minnesota nice, wonderful mother and wife gets turned on its head when she accidentally tases a cop. Ah! Ah! Oh! And suddenly, she's in the system. Can I at least fix my hair? This is something she's panicked about because she has a past that she is running away from. Is there a national database you put those in? Why, you're some kind of fugitive? And what we have is this wonderful power struggle of a woman who has a new life and a larger-than-life character trying to reclaim and possess her. My character is a sheriff in North Dakota who is somewhere mixed between uh, Sheriff Joe Arpaio and the Tiger King. Jesus. Now, what is it you wanted to discuss? He's trying to get his wife back. And despite having a new wife, he feels like there's a debt unpaid. She made vows to me. Pledge, sickness, and your health. I think our primary theme is toxic masculinity. I'm a winner! Against femininity and power. Listen, bitch. We have Dot carrying that torch. Also her mother-in-law, Lorraine, who is the queen of debt. Let me guess. The last time you negotiated with a woman was over the price of a Tijuana blowjob. She is the essence of power. If this deal's for real, and they got a notion to take what's mine, we need to nip it in the bud. We also have a female sheriff's deputy, and she's searching for the truth because none of this kidnapping makes sense. Well, I'd expect a ransom demand somewhere in the next 48. Oh, why they think I'd break the bank for some low-rent skirt my son knocked on. Mom, that, that's my wife you're talking about. This season of Fargo is an homage to the film. When I read the first episode, I said, this is so smart. Like, what a fun way to take that premise of the film and toss it on its head. Oh, geez, you're bleeding. Woo! Would you look at that? There's so many Easter eggs that people will be so excited about. All of the characters are either loosely or largely based on characters from the movie, but flipping them on their heads also. Darn it, you deleted the victim, her photo. Yeah. And in true Fargo fashion, there's a bunch of different characters doing a bunch of different things, and it's all intersecting in this kind of fun, coincidental way. Tell me what you took. Audiences will get a chance to see great performances all around, and you get a chance to see actors that you know and love taken out of their wheelhouse a little bit. You got any weaponry back there? Got an air horn. A what? The Cohen brothers' storytelling shines in this moment that is both funny and horrifying at the same time. Oh, oh, wait! Oh, come on! I think that Noah uses all of the tricks in his bag that we've seen, sort of magical realism and the almost supernatural part of living so far north. I don't think we have any UFOs this year, but keep your eyes peeled.